Our past master is Gary Bailey, who arrived at Old Trafford in unusual circumstances. I actually went to Old Trafford and knocked on the door and said to Dave Sexton, I don't know if you know my old man, but you know, he played years ago, give us a trial. And he did, and uh, I signed in. I spent about eight months in the third team, and I thought, I'm never going to crack it here. I mean, they had you know, good goalkeepers. Alex Stepney had been a fixture for years. In his shadow was Paddy Roach. It was a queue that Gary Bailey had joined, and he was 19 when he finally broke through. Uh, headlines the following day after my debut, Gary Glitters, yeah, I've made it. Two days later, we got beat 3-0 at Everton, Gary Jitters, and I thought, oh, hello. And that, that, was the, you know, that was the pressure we were under for the rest of the career. It was always every game, every game, you've got to perform. Man United, under the spotlight, only the best expected, and a lot of pressure. Dalgleish in the middle, Johnson there, McDermott going, highway shot. Great save again by Bailey. Lacey's come up on the far side. Lacey got the header as well. And Jones! Oh, my word, what a tremendous save. Robson. Regis again. Oh, and Bailey has thwarted him again. In his first year, Gary went to Wembley with United for an epic cup final against Arsenal. It was 2 all when Liam Brady floated a cross over his head for Alan Sunderland to score the winner. But then in 1983, he turned into a cup final hero against Brighton. Got more and after him and Robinson still in control. Play for Smith and saved by Bailey. My word, what a remarkable finish. Thanks for mentioning that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 83 against Brighton was the one that stands out because, uh, again, a couple of goals had gone in. We were two all in extra time. And then that moment when Smith broke through and Smith will score. Smith must score. Uh, but that was just a lucky, oh, that's a lucky save. You, as a goalkeeper, you've got to wear a going out at feet, you do it properly, the ball hit my feet and it stuck. I mean, that's, you know, that's the sort of odds you play as a goalkeeper. Bailey's career was eventually cut short through injury, and he returned to his native South Africa, where he's still involved with football, presenting for Mnet Sport. Gary Bailey, a talented man, and now a contented man. Obviously one misses Old Trafford and one misses Manchester, and, and, uh, but I always believe, and maybe it's wrong, but I believe what was happened, and it was great to be there, and on the odd occasion I go back, every, everybody's wonderful there and it's nice to see them, but I don't want to be one of those pros that hangs about the club. And that's why I like to keep my distance and, and, you know, and so I know that when I do go back once in a blue moon and people will say, hey, I haven't seen you for ages, how's it, you know. But uh, now it's, I'm quite happy doing what I'm doing.